what's up everyone, I here bringing you the first in the series of beginner Cinema 4D tutorials and in this series I'll be running over the very basics of Cinema 4D so for all you beginners out there who've just just started the program or you're looking to get better you've come to the right place and in this tutorial I'll just be running over just to get very basic cool looking 3D text within Cinema 4D I won't be going over any camera animations I'll just be going over creating the actual text itself but if you want to you can add the camera or do whatever you feel necessary I will be doing tutorials on the camera and lighting and and all that good stuff so stay tuned for that so let's go ahead and get started so what we're gonna do is gonna click on MoGraph and we're gonna add a text object and you can name this text object whatever you feel I'm just gonna name it acres for example we'll center this up a little bit around there and then if we click font you can choose whatever font you've got in your font library I'll just go with the usual font that I, that I use and what we're gonna do is here you see depth and what depth is is basically how long the text is gonna be so if we set that to around 160 or whatever looks best for your font because some fonts might not look as good longer so you might need to drop the depth down but around 160 looks good for this font and then what we're gonna do is if we select our text object and then hit command C command V that duplicates the text layer so you can see now we've got two different text layers and then what we're gonna do is select the duplicated text layer and then drop the depth down just a little bit maybe to to a hundred or whatever looks best for your font and then we'll just center it up in the middle of the original so around there that's looking good and then what we're going to do is on the duplicated text layer if we select caps start cap fillet cap and then end cap fillet cap again and then what this does it creates this really nice 3d text effect and we've got a nice sort of beveled edge on our text looking good and if you wish you can go back into the object and maybe increase the depth a little bit and then just center that up like so maybe even increase it a little bit more just have a little play around with it see what looks best for you So now we're going to add some materials, add some colours, make it look nice and sexy. So if we go to new material, we'll make, we'll click on colour, and we'll make this kind of, kind of a purpley colour. And then if we click reflection, and under the texture tab. If we drop down and go to for now what that does that gives us some really nice realistic reflections and if we just drop the brightness and the strength down a little bit and you can also add a little bit of blurriness if you wish and then we're going to do the same again file new material um what color goes with purple uh yellow we'll go with yellow well actually make sure you click on color first and then make it yellow that looks good and we'll check reflection again 
add for now. Drop the brightness and strength down a little bit, maybe add a little bit of blurriness. And that's good to go. And now all we have to do is drag our colours over to to our text objects. And there we go, we get some nice 3D text effect. And you can swap the colours around, you can use whatever colours you feel necessary. I encourage you to, to use different fonts, use different colours. Just kind of add your own stamp to it. So I'm not going to be going over anything too advanced today, just just the very basics of 3D text. And we can also make it look a little bit better. If we click on this tab here, and then go add floor, and then what we're going to do is create a new material. We'll make it sort of black, not fully black, but just dark enough. And then if we click reflection again, for now, and we'll drop the brightness and strength down. And we want to increase the blurriness just quite a lot actually, so it's quite blurry. And then all we do is drag this reflective black material over to the floor object. And then if we render now, you can see we get this really nice text effect and you can see the the nice reflections on the floor there. It's looking really good. So yeah, that's just how to create some really cool simple 3D text within Cinema 4D. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all the latest videos and, and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching, see you later.